What's up everybody, Elohim here, and welcome back to Fable the Lost Chapters. Now today, we are starting off here in the Necropolis. Now, in between episodes, I did go open the chest that had 30, needed 30 keys. Um, all he gave me was a sword that's weaker than the Sword of Aeons, and we have a sword that's even stronger than the Sword of Aeons, I just prefer the Sword of Aeons. So today, I wanted to start here in the Necropolis to open this demon door, and then we will progress to go see uh, Briar Rose. So let's open this. I never wanted to. stands up to the other sword. Yeah, this sword is actually the strongest one. This other one we have. That all being said though, let me let me show you why I prefer the sword of balance. Okay, this sword has Flame augmentation, health augmentation, and sharpening augmentation. Where the Sword of Aeons. Is it? Has health, mana, and experience augmentations. So we get. We regen health and mana while holding it, and we gain more experience. Now, let's go see Briar Rose. fight our way to her, but that's not really a problem. I mean, usually the mobs, the monsters here are pretty simple. Hey, oh, glad cool. you're still with us. These inscriptions are fascinating, you know. Everything indicates that Jack's new form will emerge from behind the bronze gate, and this structure is the key to opening it. But it looks like it'll take the souls of three heroes to activate the mechanism. These things are never simple, are they? It doesn't want just any heroes either. The first instruction calls for the king of the arena, no less. I suppose you could chop your own head off, but then there'd be no one for me to order around, would there? Why don't you pay Thunder a visit? He knows the arena inside and out. I've checked with the guild, and they say he's in Knothole Glade. You've still got <coughs> Jack's mask, haven't you? Good. You'll need it to trap the souls. I still can't believe he might not be dead. Anyway, I better start <coughs> researching the second inscription. Now, for those of y'all who watched the last episode, well, no, Jack is still alive. Yes, little hero, I'm back, and our business is not quite finished. You took my sword, remember? Shut up, Jack. This head did not hold. Glade. About the only play in town in the game that lets you carry a sword at when in your hand. Most others want to give you a fine. Now look, I won't tell you again. 
We don't need a hero. For the first time in years, we aren't being attacked, sieged, or kidnapped by anything. Now leave us alone. Poor Thunder. He's been having a rough time. You? <laughs> Briar Rose said you would come. I will tell you what I know. If it will get you out of my sight. We were both once called Kings of the Arena. But there have been many heroes in the past who have claimed that name. You should search in the bloody dust of the arena itself. They say the souls of past champions haunt it, resting in the place of their greatest achievement. Now go, unless you're here to take my soul, just as you took my sister. Why go all the way to the arena? You have a perfect chance. Let's kill Thunder. Y'all know we've been wanting to do this the whole game. to release the soul from the mask and well your guess is as good as mine was that thunder soul that's not exactly what i had in mind when i sent you to him anyway we figured out the second inscription it says the heroine i can't think of anyone who fits the description better than scarlet robe your mother there's always me of course but as you can see i'm still alive 
And I plan to stay that way. Good you'll have to pay her tomb in Oakvale another visit. I know this won't be easy, but Scarlet was always one to make sacrifices, remember? it up without a fight. Let's shut up, Brian. Huh, wrong what? <laughs> Who's going to translate the inscriptions now? Have you thought of that? Turn on me in the end. For those of y'all wondering at home, yes, there is three souls you can get for the good story. One at the arena, uh, your mother, and then uh, the ghost in the graveyard uh, that in Litchfield that you went and got the armor for. Uh, you can go fight him, absorb him, and use him, but we're going after the guild master. Because we ain't playing that nice shit. Oh, welcome back, sir. This place has been a mess since you left. People running around with bits of old paper, books flying everywhere. And a guild master's only gone and hold himself up in the guild woods. We're not supposed to let anyone near him. We found it. The soul mentioned in the inscription. It must be Nostro. His soul has been trapped in the Litchfield graveyard for centuries. Our texts suggest it should be in the graveyard circle, you know, where you found the tunnel to Bargate Prison. 
Catching souls. Never heard such nonsense. Well, good luck, hero. It is unfortunate that you chose Briar's death. I shall journey to the shrine while you collect the final soul. The Bronze Gate must not be left unattended. This is probably the most satisfying part. Stop fight. there, hero! Do not come any closer! Side note, he talks about us destroying the guild. Uh, a little bit of lore here. Uh, the Guildmaster, Maze, and Scythe were students of the guild. When they were students, you could not pick evil quests. You could only be a good hero. They rebelled and killed the heads of the guild to take it over so that they could let people do evil quests. So, don't feel too bad for you know, me killing them. Did the same thing, but for a much pettier reason. Kill everybody else first.
when Maze betrayed me, I knew he was a coward. But you, you are the biggest disappointment of all. You have been given too much power, and it has corrupted you. But it isn't too late to turn back. Stop this now, and there is still hope for you, for all of us. Please, let me teleport you to the graveyard. Take Nostro's soul instead. Very well, hero. Do your worst. I am no defenseless old man. Really? I have powers that you can't begin to... Ah! He has powers that we can't begin to... Oh! Yeah, I guess not. Oh. Does that make us the head of the guild now? The guild master's death was an unnecessary sacrifice. But now you have the final soul. You must return to the shrine. Time to go put this in and go fight Jack. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this fight, people. This ain't an easy one. This ain't even a fun one, per se. It's pretty tough.
peace without your help. <laughs> hey, yeah, Josh. See, I do have the option to throw it in the It is vital you cast the mask away. Listen to me. Destroy the mask now. And you shall be immortal. Destroy it. Now you're going to destroy it. The dragon was slain, and yet a tremor ran through the world. Skies darkened, and every man, woman, and child in Albion succumbed to a petrified hush. The hero and Jack of Blades were one. What chaos and pain they would bring, none could say. Yet here our tale must end. And what happened to the guild and its heroes? That is a story for another time. Now, as the credits are rolling, I've got to let them play through because you can save the game afterwards and just run around and do whatever you want. But as for the let's play on this game, this is the end of it. I do want to thank everybody for watching. Um, side note, once you wear the mask, you can't put headgear on in the game, so, yeah, you lose a little armor with that. But there's no more story, so, we'll call it in at here. If you like what you see on the channel, go ahead and hit that like button down below. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. Let me know if, you if you're new and you subscribe. As always, I do want to thank everybody for watching.